Welcome to this how-to video for Instant ID. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Instant ID, how to create a new user account to access Instant ID, and finally, how to license Instant ID using your product key, if you have one. Before installing Instant ID, you may wish to check that your PC meets the requirements of the software. These can be found on the Entrust website and are displayed on this page. You can also download the software from the Entrust website. To begin installation, Right click on the installation file and select Run as Administrator. The first screen you are presented with is the license agreement. Review and accept the license agreement. If you have obtained a product key from Entrust. You can enter that product key at this screen. Enter the product key into this box. Once the product key is entered, it allows you to select the addition of the software that your product key corresponds to, allowing you to install a different version of the software. If you do not have a product key, simply leave the Enter Product Key box empty and install the software at the default Professional Edition. At this screen, you need to select the components of the software you wish to install on this particular PC. If you intend to use the software on this PC only, then select Full. If you wish to install the software on multiple PCs, you need to select one of the PCs as the Instant ID server. If installing the software on the server, then you select Full or Server. Server is selected if you do not intend to perform any enrollment or card production on the server PC. If you are unsure which selection to make for the server, select full. At the time of installing the software on the client PCs that will access the Instant ID server, you need to select client. I'm going to select full. At this screen, select the features like to install. Entrust Capture Manager installs components that allow you to use an image capture device such as a camera or to upload images from file. Entrust Smart Card installs components required for personalization of smart cards, for example MyFair Desfire. At this screen, you need to select a port number that will be used by the Instant ID software. The installer recommends port 9800. Next, via the security level setting, you can change the complexity level of the password required to access the Instant ID software. You can select high medium, low, or none. If you select none, you need to check the box to state that you agree with the disclaimer stated above. For this demonstration, I will select high. At this screen, you can select a different installation path for 
software installation files. I will use the default path suggested. At this screen, you can select where the shortcut icon used to launch the software will be placed. I'm going to select on the desktop. This screen presents an installation preview. Click install. The software begins to install. Once the software installation is complete, click done. You may be prompted to select the default web browser to use with the software. Select either Chrome, Edge, or Internet Explorer. When the software is launched for the very first time, you need to configure a new administrator user. Enter an administrator user ID of your choice. First name, last name. You are prompted to create a password that meets the requirements of the security level you chose at the time of install. I chose high for my security level, therefore my password must meet the requirements shown here. Re-enter your password and click create. You need to select and answer two security questions. If you forget your password for the software, there is a link that you can click on at the time of login, which allows you to reset your password. When you click the link, you will be prompted to answer these two security questions. Here is that link to reset your password. Because we have not yet licensed the software, we are currently running in evaluation mode, which lasts for 30 days from the time of install. Enter your user ID and password that you created. Once logged in, you are ready to license the software. To do this, Click the gear icon, settings, and select the license menu. If you have obtained a product key from Entrust, enter the product key into the box provided. If your PC is connected to the internet, simply click activate and the license will be activated online. If your PC is not connected to the internet, contact Entrust Support who can assist with offline activation. A message appears notifying you that the software was successfully licensed. That completes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.